really done pretty well in the real estate industry, all things considered. Associate real estate broker up here in Alaska. I run a, a business that's in the top 3% of all real estates for the entire state. And I've been up there for a number of years at this point. So I've really got some longevity and some legs there. But you know, there's something to be said of just having some kind of line in the sand where it says, hey, if this happens, then I would consider getting another occupation. And that's really what today's video is going to be is just talking about you know, what things I would do that or what things would happen in order to make me decide to, you know, just just kind of be done with the, the real estate industry and pursue an occupation elsewhere. Um, this is kind of a tricky video for me to do because I'm, I'm definitely not there. And I don't want this to come across as just a whiny real estate agent. So don't take it that way. But these are going to be the things that could make me decide to go pursue a, a different occupation altogether. Before we get started, though, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe and all that good stuff. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. And I think we're actually getting pretty close. I think we only need about 500 more. So if you could go and subscribe, that would absolutely mean the world. Now, let's go and talk about the things that would potentially make me decide to switch occupations and get out of the real estate industry altogether. One of the big things that would make me decide to get out of the industry altogether is just the hours that go into it. You know, most people will see you maybe at an open house, they'll see you when you're you know, at showings with them and talking with them. That's about 5% of everything that happens in a real estate agent's daily job. I mean, you've got marketing stuff, you've got bookkeeping stuff you need to keep track of, you have compliance, you have showings, you have uh, some due diligence stuff you need to take care of, you've got the negotiations and the actual transaction. Um, you've got any number of things that can happen in a given day and you have to be able to quickly respond to all of these. And unfortunately, sometimes everything happens at the same time and you're just straight out of luck and you're gonna have to get it done and it may be like a 60 70 hour week and that just is what it is i mean i've had times within the past month even where i'm working from about 6 30 to about 10 or something at night and that's that's just is what it is and um, you just have to kind of be at peace with that and you know if you're you're getting a family then you know that's something you may or may not be able to, to do that long term so that's one reason I would consider quitting the real estate industry just to get something that's a, a little bit easier to, to manage like nine to five and then being able to actually clock out and being done and that does actually bring me to my next point and that is really having to be on all the time you know this is uh, this is really something that's it's kind of a pet peeve of mine where it's very difficult for me to just step away and be done working for a bit because there's just always that phone there that might light up and you need to go take care of something oh something broke at this house we have to go look at this house um, will you come in help me sell my property you know you know there's uh, we're about to close a week from now and somebody just lost their job i mean there's just all sorts of things that just keep you elevated at a high level all the time and it's very difficult to disconnect one of my favorite things is actually going on hikes in really remote locations that in which i can't be accessed because i can feel my brain physically relax because <laughs> I know I'm not going to have any more of these uh, these calls coming in. Now I know there's probably going to be a price to pay once I get back to reception, but for a couple hours, like it's going to be pretty peaceful. <laughs> you know, kind of in the same vein. Again, on this is it's very difficult to go on vacation as a real estate agent because inevitably every time you do, something is going to happen, real estate wise, and you're not going to be able to just completely turn off and be done done. Every vacation you go on, you have to just kind of factor in, okay, I'm going to be working usually about an hour, maybe like two hours a day, and that's going to have to just be okay, and that's vacation time. And I don't know, this is something that I've, I've kind of been going back and forth on lately of going, you know, you know, is it more relaxing to have a work day where you're only working an hour to maybe two hours? Or is it more relaxing to go on a vacation where you're working that amount of time? Like that's that, that's a that's a pretty messed up what if scenario. <laughs> you have to kind of pick your poison, and um, you know that is something that for some people is just kind of uh, not something they really want. I usually don't go on vacations when I do. They're they're usually pretty short, and inevitably something is going to happen, <laughs> and I'm gonna have to take care of it. And that's 
you know, that just kind of is what it is and it's what you expect. Okay, this next one is, uh, is actually pretty important. That is frivolous lawsuits. Now, I have not gotten sued yet. You know, I run a pretty tight ship. I've got uh, a pretty good legal structure all set up and everything and, you know, make sure that uh, compliance and everything is on point. So there's not really an opportunity for anyone to come back and make a legitimate lawsuit against me at some point in the future. That being said, though, that doesn't stop anyone from making some frivolous lawsuit that has absolutely no chance of actually winning. And unfortunately, there really is no protection against this happening. You know, anyone can sue anyone. And if you get an attorney out there, a lawyer that's just, you know, just hungry for any kind of business, then, you know, I guess they're in business and they're going to take you to court. And, um, you know, like I said, the, you can't prevent anyone from doing it. I've gotten lucky thus far. And uh, really, my entire policy has kind of just been, okay, well, if somebody takes me to court, I've got a pile of cash set aside, and it's called Mess Up Somebody's Life Fund. And what it is, is I just say, okay, if somebody comes after me, we are going to make this so dadgum expensive for them to keep going. And they're going to look at it in the future, going back through the records, and they're going to be like, you know, this dude could have resolved it for so much cheaper, like five years earlier, but he just kept almost intentionally digging in, and it just got incredibly painful for everybody. And it's like, well, you are correct, because I want to make a very loud statement in the entire legal system that if somebody takes me to court for a frivolous reason, they're going to be in a lot of pain, and they're going to be able to see the entire history going back and it's it's gonna be very obvious that it's like uh, maybe this isn't like a quick easy hit maybe this is actually somebody we want to avoid if that's gonna be our mo and that's really kind of the tack that i've approached it um, lawsuits are going to always happen and you know real estate agents can make themselves targets just because the knuckleheads are out there making it sound like oh i've got you know this big income and everything <laughs> with you know their fancy cars they're going and buying when they should be saving that stuff you know for the rainy day that's inevitably going to happen with their business and they make big targets of themselves and some of them aren't very good at actually um, following the due diligence compliance and everything else that goes along with it and they make themselves vulnerable and uh, the goal is just to make sure that I personally don't get signed up with that as well which you know this is really for you uh, you agents out there that are just getting started one of the big things you can do to try to avoid lawsuits like that is just be very, very selective on the people that you do decide to work with. If you're not getting a good vibe about someone, call it. You know, just it's not worth it, and you're probably going to end up regretting it later on. Uh, the folks that I work with, it's because I actually really do like them and I want to see them succeed. If I have someone that's giving me really bad vibes, or I'm just just something's off, you need to listen to that. Less time I ignored that impulse, ended up working with, uh, well, you know what, we'll, we'll talk about that offline. We'll talk about that offline. Uh, message me, I'd be happy to talk about that. But let's go ahead and take a break real quick, actually. For those of you who aren't aware, I do have a relocation guide for those of you who are considering moving to the state. And this is really just a good general information guide. So if that's something that would benefit you, then feel free to reach out on my website. Link for that is in the description section down below. Go to the website, register, and put relocation guide so I know what to send you. Now, let's go ahead and finish up today's video that may or may not come across as being kind of whiny. All right, now this next one, it honestly is probably one of the biggest ones for most people. Not for me. You know, I'm a little predictable in my effort, everything I'm going to put into it. And, um, but yeah, the big thing that would make me quit here is just not having a guaranteed income because real estate is 100% commission based and you are compensated based partly off of how much risk it is that you're taking, which as far as uh, risky incomes go, this is right up there. Like you can work with somebody for like an entire year, have them almost at the closing table, and they just decide, oh, I don't want this property anymore, run off to the Bahamas and they're gone. And you get absolutely no compensation whatsoever. There's no minimum wage for real estate agents. <laughs> so for that reason, um, a lot of people, this might be one of their main reasons for not wanting to do the industry or getting out of it is just going, you know, I just, I gotta have some guaranteed income and I'm not getting that here. Another thing that would make me consider resigning from the real estate industry is just that 
being a real estate agent makes you very anchored to the area that you're in. Because if you're wanting to continue as a real estate agent in the next place you're going to, you're gonna have to learn the other area and you're just not gonna be able to figure out at the other place. Um, I mean, maybe yes, maybe no, but for most people, it's going to take years to build that up and your network's gonna be different and setting up an entirely new business is gonna be like pulling teeth all over again. And it makes you very anchored to one spot. And I mean, that's, that's kind of a beautiful thing because real estate agents obviously are very local, but it does make it a little bit difficult if you're wanting to, to move somewhere else because you know, you're anchored where you're at. And I love Alaska and I plan on going anywhere anytime in the near future, but I was a military brat and I am used to the cycle of like moving fairly often. And that is just not really an option when um, you're in real estate because it's going to be a ton of work. Well, it's an option. It's just not an easy option. Last but not least, another reason I would consider getting out of the real estate industry is, you know, just I feel called you know, from God to go do something else to go you know, get into another industry altogether. You know, I'm um, something I'm always going to be open to. So if that is something I decide to do, then, you know, that is going to have to be something that I, I respond to and actually make happen. So this has been my video talking about the reasons that I would potentially consider resigning from the real estate industry. Again, the headline isn't Jamin decided to retire. Oh, we need to go work with somebody else. Keep the business coming, people. This is how we keep the lights on. This is how I justify like this entire studio here. <laughs> but but yeah, these are the things that would slowly make me decide or could potentially make me decide over like decades or years or whatever that I would retire. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope Again, I hope it didn't come across as a whiny real estate agent. And um, yeah, we will uh, see you on the next one.